how the Yamnaya replaced British male genes. Before Britain had kings, before legends and castles, this island belonged to simple farmers. They came from the Mediterranean thousands of years earlier. They raised cattle, grew wheat, and worshipped the sunrise. They built stone circles like Stonehenge, which echoed with ritual and song. Life was peaceful, slow, rooted in earth and season. But far away, on the wide Eurasian steppe, a different power was rising, the Yamnia, riders of the wind and grass, masters of horses, wagons, and metal. Their world moved fast. Their people were fierce and mobile. As they spread west, they blended with Europe's farmers, and a new culture emerged, the Belbika people, copper weapons, archery, prestige, skill, and those iconic bell-shaped cups. Around 4,500 years ago, they reached Britain, not an invasion with fire and armies, but an arrival with distinct advantages, metal in a land of stone, horses in a world on foot, status, networks, innovation. Slowly, quietly, the old gave way to the new. DNA tells the truth, up to 90% of Britain's population changed in just a few centuries, not through massacre, but marriage, alliances, survival, and time. The old farmer lineages faded, and the R1BY chromosome spread like wildfire. Today, most British men still carry that steppe ancestry, proof that history isn't just written in stone. It lives in blood, bone, and memory. The farmers planted the first seeds of Britain, but the riders of the steppe shaped its future. The Bell Beaker people didn't conquer Britain. They became Britain.